Hello, hello, and welcome to the third battle from my hosted 2v2 Subcommanders tournament, where both players on a team uh, play the same faction with some extra rules and setting to make it as close as the 1v1 as possible, just with two players microing the unit, actually. Um, if you want to yeah, uh, hear the full rules, you uh, can watch the first video where I explain them a bit more in detail in the beginning, or uh, navigate to the tournament page and read the rules there. Um, here we ended up in Borderlow Landing with um, Slanish versus Warriors of Chaos match. And let's start with the Warriors of Chaos. We have Festus the Leech Lord here, um, with either healing or mortis. If you don't take him down in a grind, he is uh, a menace, and he has a bodyguard in form of this Chaos Giant, which would make it really hard to snipe him, probably. Um, and then Ekeld and the Chaos Lord, so very heavy on the single entities here. Um, Oh, those are chosen, chosen halberds. Yeah, so this this is a heavy grind box, really heavy grind box. Curious how Snanish will crack that if they have to, because uh, to this side they only go Marudos, and maybe Slanish can just outmaneuver them. Slanish on the other side has a uh, even taller build, Lance Knights. Um. With the 80 charge bonus and devastating flanker being able to double that if they do a back charge into the opponent's back. Um, some Hellscourge Chaos Warriors, so some normal, some Hellscourge, and two super expensive lords. Um, only one can be a legendary one via the tournament rules, and only one can be a caster. Um, so this Exalted Keeper of Secrets here is only a fighter piece right now, but a fairly good one, you have to say. Um, devastating Flanker, of course, to Cycle Charge, uh, Combat Bound Singer Entities, and yeah, mulch them up with the anti large and this abilities. Right, it's a Bounce Bell Rampage. Um, and here we have a Zazel, Flying Assassin type, with uh, Terra Discourage, and the Lash and Acrisians, apparently, to chase and duel, and also, yeah, spam the Slanish Law Passive here. 10 seconds, 12 melee attack to boost the grind, which I don't super agree with, because this passive is um, best if you have, have a, victory point. a wide Keep front line and it applies to many units that are currently grinding. Um, but if you don't have them, it, it's just not a lot. Um, I really want to see the Rampage spell here to get units out of position and um, take some down like this, and get an advantage like this. Especially if you are, by this grind box, forced to play a mobility game, um, which your opponent is inferior in, but also not bad. And yeah, uh, I've ignored them so far. This Chaos Chariots here, this Sibylan Slaughter Kate, heavily armored and still super high speed chariots with poison and uh well n not a lot of ap you have to say oh uh, you didn't want to ch charge into chosen habits oh maybe they do they actually pass through super easily nice um i don't think they were properly braced but apparently their speed in 1500 mass is enough um here still they only scratching the barriers of those chosen and take some hits in return so uh, 
there's plenty other targets here that are way better and they that might actually get damage. <laughs> so uh those Lance Knights could also charge into the pickles. Are they turned around? They actually are turned around to not eat a back charge. This is some disgusting blob here. Uh, uh, so yeah, I don't think Slanish will crack that. Ooh, hell flyers. Uh, so embracing the chariot for the full here. Um, this didn't look too good. Yeah, but it's okay. Ash damage, but a knight would have done the same. So I'm not too flashed by them right now. Let's see how the health flyers do. Um, yeah, that looks more like it. Uh, also, not insane damage, but um, at least no counter damage. Uh, here, okay, th those poor health striders are massively outclassed, but there's some generic Chaos Knights coming in to get the Slanish ones, and they got, uh, oh, they blocked and now eating the back charge from the Slanish Lance Knights, oh, this hurts, and Demonets, and Rampage, they are gone, they are gone, uh, the Rampage from the Exalted Keeper, and yeah, uh, Slanish playing kinda like uh, I want them to pick some ability fights, get some value, and don't touch this blob. Actually, Slanish currently has capture mate here. Uh, this this could end up very bad for uh, the chaos sites because if they don't have capture mate here, this blob needs to move, and this blob is not good at moving. Um, Hmm, the chariots here completely unsupported. I, I don't think that's the best use case for them. Um, they still want to have an, uh, an anvil uh, fight in between battle lines and uh, yeah, not be javelin down and not fight with chosen halberds. The damage is looking good, but it would be so much better if they could charge into the back of an anvil unit that is, yeah, like going through here. This this would be ideal situations for them, I would say. Not so much used completely on their own. Um, yeah, this this damage didn't look super good. I don't want to see fast as I want to see them. Aspiring champions. Oh, they need to be afraid. They need to be afraid of the demonets because they will chop them up. Uh, especially with the debuff on them, though it might have been a bit too early for it. Um, can fight the Chaos Giants now dunking on the Exalted Keeper. Uh, so Eckhold is already going down to Demonets. Hard to say who this is favored here. Those support units should best be around here. Though on the other hand you don't want to have them into uh, Demonets either. So it's, it's a bit of a sitting duck here and I'm kind of uh, happy that this doesn't work out because such blobs, single entities, highly uh, elite units just placing somewhere and not moving for the whole game is is not what I want from the game. So I I'm happy that it just gets taken down appropriately. This point on the other hand is very heavily reinforced um, because I had to uh, with the pressure slanish made there, and those chosen halberds are desperately missing here in the mid. Um, they would want them there. The Chaos Lords got a bit, uh, yeah, overzealous trying to take out uh, Azazel on his own after this blob here somehow split up. And 
I think this Chaos Giant needs to stick as close to Festus as possible, because um, if a Zazel now goes sniping him, that, that's both Lords down, and that's not that's not good. Jared's <laughs> uh, here, nah, doing a bit better, but still not. I don't, yeah, still I don't think they are good to to just use on their own. Um. Same as you wouldn't use Shock Calvary unsupported, or shouldn't use Shock Calvary unsupported. Uh, those poor Hellstriders here making an attempt for the side, but they should have gotten out there when they still could. Now with the Rampage, it's of course over for them. Um, Festus being protected by Eckhart, okay. That's definitely something. Eckhart, um since Lanish has no re-healing, uh, need to be very careful with the HP of their lords. Um, Chaos actually having taken this point back um, with a giant mostly... Oh. I don't know, even know what took those warriors down, but yeah, uh, no support to this and whilst Lanish fights this fight here, but this also means that the Chaos warriors will not get new support there anytime soon and uh, sweet sorrow onto them 133 speed that's nice and they slither and wither towards their targets okay Azazel going in despite Eckhart on defense here and sniping out Festus and with this I would say that was the last straw for the Chaos Warriors to not be able to come back those chosen here were all the game somewhere walking around and not being in a good position. I don't think they were a good answer to try to um, scare the chariots off of this side. They were desperately needed in the mid to win this grind there. Uh, And yeah, um, this is some interesting blob here that can come, but uh, I think Slanish can still evade it and once they are here just bounce over there because they by now have an absolute and utter grip on the mobility. Uh, and yeah, let me accelerate that. Eternal Antarash here trapped, they got some good value. Uh, but this is too much for them then. Sybil and Slaughter Kate making their last dive into the Chosen Halberd. Uh, fiends getting those and with the Lord death penalties, they get down really quickly. It was actually a lot less damage than I thought they would for a demon large units parked into a magic attack halberd unit for some good seconds. No. Who died? Um oh, the exalted keeper actually. I knew yeah, it. but unending um, glory is yours. Slanish had too tight a grip on that game to let themselves be bothered by this. Yeah. I, the, I think the idea was not bad from the uh, Chaos side to make a real sturdy box against the uh, superior mobility, but they kind of exaggerated a bit with it. And then afterwards, when they had this box, they still summoned a lot of mobility, which of course got taken down by Slanish very easily because they were utterly unsupported. Also, the Sparring Champions actually get, that, get a good value. Uh, I thought the Demonets would t totally take them out. Yeah, those chosen here, if they had been in the right places, would have made a huge difference. Um, But yeah, they, they were wandering around a lot. <laughs> um, Fiends doing great, Demonets doing great. 
Barrios not so much, but they were just captured right there, and yeah, Zazel took out the whole hero and single entity core mostly on its own, though there's this one. Oh, he also got Was there really so much value for Zazel to get there? I guess they also healed a lot due to Festus, so. Um. He could value farm a bit more in this giant here also. Three chevrons on and good stuff. Yeah, the chariots were a bit the weak, weak link for Slanish and I'm I'm not sure if it's just on how they were used or um if they're still a bit struggling. The damage didn't look too bad, but the counter damage example for the health layers, for example, was rather strong. Um, any more interesting to tell here? I don't know. I think I have the most interesting ones. So, this was a third battle of the 2 v and the finals are still left and coming up directly after this. See you on it!